Hello beautiful people, and uh, today we're going to have a look at the Helvig Fat Rabbit. So, uh, yeah, there it is. So we'll go down, we'll uh, take it apart, we'll stick a couple coils in, we'll wick it, and then we'll tell you how she vapes. <laughs> box, the little plastic piece that makes it TPD compliant by uh, taking up the room so that the tank only contains two mil worth of space and nobody uses that. Uh, Kylie tool, little uh, screwdriver, not legitimate Kylie tool, Hell Vapes Kylie tool, cotton and a pair of NIA fused clapton coils, O-rings and spare grub screws and your Hell Vape Bible. Here's the actual Fat Rabbit RTA. You got a bit of knurling on the top there. Quarter turn. 5.5 mil glass. And this is another quarter turn. A bit niggly, but it does come out. See that? Postless deck, mirrored airflow. It's got bottom airflow and side airflow. You want to be cutting your legs to five mil. I've got a couple of uh, staple staggered fuse Claptons in there. You want to be leaving a gap in between because if you put them too close together the airflow will not rise through the middle and you need it to rise through the middle because it'll hit the coil on the bottom and it'll come from underneath the coil and it'll go either side of the coil especially if you're looking to get both side and bottom airflow which i do there we go Legs cut to 5.5 mil. They look pretty good to me. So let's fire them. There we go, sorted, all done. I'm using uh, Swag Supreme cotton. Nice cotton, nice cotton. And there she is. Now the wicking, I, the jury's out here because I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to wicking this. I know they get leaking, dry hits not so much, but the people say it leaks. It, it doesn't leak for me. No way. I think it's a superb tank. This is a budget tank, so you've got to be happy with what you get. Well, this is my trick. So you want to fluff it out. Give it a bit of a wild afro. And then 
you want to basically cut the sides that so you've basically got the just the middle section of the both cartons and then it's simple just grab and tuck that's it simple 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 but if you can help it try and not have the cotton pushed against this barrier because the the juice will run down there and that's where you'll get leaking and splattering or sputtering I should say same this side See the thing is it's got a little bar in between there as well where the cotton touches so it runs down that little tiny bar as well. I think that's to stop it leaking but I don't think that helps any. There's a little tiny stoppage bar there and I think it runs down there and goes down to the bottom airflow. But if you get the wick in well enough and try and keep any sort of cotton away from the, the walls, then I don't think you'll have a problem. That's it. As you can see guys, that looks quite good. Um, yeah, just juice it up. Got some uh, Tropic by Ancient Alexa which is mine by the way. If you want to purchase this, you can go to nmlabs.co.uk. They are $17.99 each, but there is a 10% discount with code NM10. It's free postage over 30 pounds to UK and you get your next shots absolutely free. Good deal, good deal. Even if I do say so myself. Oh yeah. This is a coconut imbued cream soda infused with tropical fruits by the way. It's bloody lovely, it's bloody lovely. Right, I'll put it back together and I'll see you back up top back up top and that was the Hellbait Fat Rabbit RTA. Beautiful tank. For the price, you can't beat it. The flavour, out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. Really good flavour. And with the customizable options as far as airflow goes, the mirrored airflow on the bottom and the mirrored airflow on the the side. I have two holes open on the side and I have the bottom fully open. She whips like a dream. She doesn't leak for me and the flavour is good. I've seen it being, being uh, compared to the aromaizer and I've seen it being compared to the um, care. Bloody hell, can't speak. Uh, compared to the QP Vitality M25, M28. Uh, flavour wise, it's not far off, but you do get a bit more with the M25 and the Aromamizer. But you can't have Wagyu beef if you've only got sirloin in the fridge. Really good. If I lost it, would I buy it again? Absolutely. It's definitely worth a buy. For the people that are struggling with it and it's leaking for them, I'd say try again. Get that wicking down because when you do, it's a really good one. Right. That's been my review on the uh, Hellbait Fat Rabbit RTA. If you like it, then give the video a like, subscribe to me, and uh, I'll be back with more.